Schlecht Nachklang, ja, äh, seit heute Morgen oder seit heute Nachmittag, wo wir ihn gefangen sind und irgendwie war viel, viel schlimmer und die haben das nicht geschafft, das komplett wegzumachen. Ich kann mir schon vorstellen, dass vielleicht heute, wenn wir fertig mit den Spielen sind, dann haben wir ein bisschen mehr Ruhe, ähm, abends zu, zu gucken, was, was das Problem war eigentlich und vielleicht komplett diese metallische Klang wegzunehmen. Ja, yep, Annika ist hier und uh, you can take over while uh, Wolf is weg. Uh, hey, Jelena, how are you doing? We may miss uh, Rexo this year, but I'm very happy that Emelina is here. Emelina haven't been playing the championship since a few years now. And, uh, well, the they start now, playing yeah. already. Yeah, they <coughs> start playing and they had me, so I thought they did not... Uh, <laughs> Okay, uh, so we missed the first goal in this yeah. game uh, by, <laughs> by, by Rixu. No, uh, by Hemelina. Rixu is not here. Uh, and it's uh, Hezu. It's Hemelina Sugatayat. Ah, uh, yeah. So, 1-0 uh, for them. Sorry, the, they didn't put at uh, the camera, so I miss it. Um, I think also uh, it is the favorite. Uh, team, the Finnish team, and uh, let's see how the Italians can play this, how can defend, uh, uh, they, they just recover the ball, they're trying to swim away. So we're in midfield of the game, <coughs> um, really fast forward from one of the uh, first players, but he got pulled away by the Finnish. Um, so we have a scrum at the surface, we don't see the ball right now. We have people laying it under to receive the ball if it drops. Uh, so Fierce is still in ball possession, uh, coming an attacker from above, trying to steal it away. They're in another scrum, trying to hold the ball still. I can't see, um, there yeah, yeah, it is, the ball is coming. It so that's a counter attack and we have four Finnish coming on to two Italians and that looked like the Italian had the hand wrapping the basket but it was a goal nevertheless so 2-0 for Hemelina and uh, I, I think it's, it's very loud my, my, my volume yes. here but uh, I put it out because people on the other side cannot hear us um, is it the, the volume of both us okay or is it still low because I had to put it up but it's I don't know if it has any effect on the um, streaming. So we're back in the game. <coughs> um, Wolf is watching us while he eats. Yep. So if I skipped in. <laughs> um, so right now we have another scrum, I think. Now they're really at the surface trying to push towards the other goal. That's sometimes when you're in the scrum, um, another player enters to push you towards uh, the, the opponent's goal. That's what happens here. They're trying to push against Hazel's goal, um, which they quite successfully did. But there's still no first player underneath, so if the ball should drop, it goes straight. What we saw right now to Hazel, um, and they're doing a really fast counter attack, um, trying to get in there, but the defender is still underneath. They, they dropped the ball. Oh, that was a bit pushing without the ball from the Finnish team. Yes. That was pushing without ball. I'm sorry. I mean, this is what I've seen from this side because uh, we, it was on the close side and was on the. You, yes. Did you see that too, right? Yes. The, the, the goalie was in position, but uh, the ball was on this side of the of the of the um, basket, and the player that was on the close corner was pushing the goalie very actively, although he did yeah, not have the ball. There was it. The referee just saw it and called pushing. Now we now have a free throw. Four. Fierce for the Italian team, um, and what's, was it the call? The referee goes up, but the game continues. Um. So we have now a counter attack again, two against two coming from the side and above and trying to pass it, but um, I mean, there was again it's another goal, but it also looked like th the one that went behind the defender also pushed it yes. a little bit. It looked like, yeah, they were quite physical. Um, 
And also, I mean, for people that maybe don't know the game, in rugby, the only one that is allowed to touch or move or attack or do anything is the one in possession of the ball. Everyone else is not supposed to touch, push or anything. Or it's a fault, actually. Yes. So I'm going to pay closer attention because it looks like the Finnish team maybe is too actively sometimes when I'm not in position of the ball. So here, this guy yeah. on this side is there right under. Now he has the ball and he pushed. That was a very good, like a very good goal. Yeah, I really combination. So yeah, it was really good goal. Now teams are separating again to start. Um, and on the World Rugby, the team who defended or who got the goal uh, are starting. <coughs> so they're trying to get past the hazard players, but their really strong um, present presence in the pool. Um, really confident, checking forward, um, going in really fast. Yeah. Even if there are two players, they're pushing against the the defender and now they're trying to and it's a scrum right now yeah th th they are so fast when they get the ball i almost don't see it really italians being able really to stop it i mean they come like two three you know like arrows <laughs> and um elena thank you i'm very very well <laughs> um do you, can you tell us if there's any translation for him elena or it's just a name i was wondering just to cut some information. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so now we have the 23 trying to attack from the side, pass it on the close side, and it's just, it's like a bombarding on top of the Italian goalie. Yes. I mean, I play a goalie, and I would not like to be there. No. It just, it's, it really looks very, very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> it's very yeah. physical, very massive. I think that from so the, the, the yeah. games I watch, it's the most physical I've seen with between men. Yes. Even Egger um, yeah. didn't play so strong against Frogs. And another and goal. goal. Yeah. So they're really wanting it. So they just trying to, to get physical and forward yeah. and mm -hmm. trying to get in there. So we have now <coughs> um, two, 14, or 2 minutes 40 seconds left in the first half. We have 5-0 for Hezu. Um, and we, this is the, the game 14 of the day. Yeah? We have uh, still four games to go after this. So let's go back. Now we have Firenze trying to uh, get closer. But look, I mean, yeah, again, there was all of the players were missing. It was just two wide ones. Yes. And we have now a counter attack with four Finnish. They're like doing the waves much yeah, Much and they're staying there. Look. They're, yeah, they're just, <laughs> just like down there. <laughs> I'm like, wow, well, let's go for a drink together under the basket of the Italian team. Oh. It's really um, I like impressive. The, yeah. So now Italy recover the ball. That's a great mm. job. And they're then in the middle. Then they normally just get into the middle and then like two or three physical players. And <clears throat> in this scrum, nobody's underneath from the white team. Um, so the ball, when it, it dropped, so there was no one of the yeah. white teams so recovering from the blue team. Yeah, that's a pity to have everyone in the surface yes. fighting. That's just a mist of uh, resources. I mean, yeah. leave it one against one and then be underneath because the ball is going to fall. Yes, so normally you stay with one player in the scrum and, and another attacker lays uh, down in case the ball drops like we saw mm -hmm. it a few seconds ago. And now... Again, swimming into the goalie, losing the ball, and uh, Hezu is in counter-attack. And you see here, like, one player is really strong against the defense going in there from the open side and uh, from the close side, and then... And another goal. It's goal. just almost every attack or every second attack finish in a goal, almost. I mean, and this I is quite quickly. Mm -hmm. I think the defense isn't quite good established. They're not so fixed in their positions. They yep. should be much more... Yeah. I mean, the defenders and the goalies are there, but then four of the Finnish come, and it's and like it's the four checkers are not um, being able to help much. Yes. The forwards are missing, because normally the forwards come from, from above, um, trying to steal the ball or interfere the passes, and that's what we barely seen here. We we seen uh, Hezu as a really physical, strong team um, playing out. And now we have an attack from the open side, from the <coughs> um, from Frius, from Italy, and they managed quite well, but there are always four players of Hezu down there, 
knowing where to go and if they leave their position they're going after the ball as well. Um, we have the steal. Um, okay, half time. Half time. Okay, we have okay, now we have the toss. And uh, thank you, uh, Elena. She was telling us that um, Hemelina is just the name of the city in Finland, so it's oh. diverse of Hemelina. Sukaltajat, <laughs> 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 we know already through the Finnish lesson of last year that it's uh, diverse <laughs> that we learned. Yeah, the unpronounceable name. Yes. So Italy is having a hard time, 5 0 against the Finnish team, and they are not being able really to establish any kind of, of attack or anything on the no. Finnish side. They're just reacting and that, that is really a uh, very strong attack from the Finnish team. They come with 3-4 and it's quite massive. It's really... It's, yeah, they should be playing closer together, more faster, more at the down. And they're going really fast up to the surface to scrum and that's where the Finnish players are playing at the bottom and playing them out because they have the air to do it. So maybe... Yeah. Let's see if now they have three minutes, maybe get some discussion about how can they would deal with this, how they can play a bit better so they don't get, the, they're getting really almost, you know, clue against their go yes. the, the goal, I mean, by the pressure of the Finnish attack, it's really impressive to see. Yep. So maybe they can do something, maybe keep the ball moving more, we have more pressure on the water, they need to be there for each other, yes. playing closer together, playing more in the bottom. Let's see if they can, it's easy for us to, to say, we have all the oxygen yes. in one. <laughs> it's really <laughs> hard to that would be, it. uh, It's not easy. It's, um, mm. No, it's a really indifferent teams playing against each other. Like, I think it's Hazel playing EuroLeague. I think, you know? <laughs> Is somebody knowing it's Hazel playing EuroLeague? Pardon me? Is Hazel playing EuroLeague? Uh, well, some of the players, I think, uh, participate okay. in EuroLeague. So, so yeah. they have some experience, yeah. And, and yeah. thanks, Lucas says that we are cute. And thanks for the <laughs> commentary. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, just before we, we're gone, guys, <laughs> if anyone from here, remember, we from the Academy, I'm going to be posting this, you're going to hate me probably, we are gathering some money so we can do the website, and we have these uh, stickers that was Abro donated, they cost only 2 euros, so please come buy them here from our cabin, we will be so happy, and I would stop talking about it. <laughs> the best Academy in the world. <laughs> <laughs> So we have 20 seconds left before the, the second half of game 14 this day starts. And um, we have here Hezo against uh, Fierce from Italy. And Hezo is um, Finland. We have quite a strong Nordic country against um, a thousand country where Italy is mostly playing in... Um, in the Three Nations League, three right? Three Nations League against uh, um, Spain and... Oh. Uh, Kratz entered and then uh, Crete as well. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that's fantastic, really, the concept of the three nations. Uh, I think it's really so good, I mean, because the, the countries on their own so were doing uh, not so good because they did not have enough uh, teams, and like that they have a lot of I mean, better chances. So anyway. Now we're back in the game. Uh, really start strong from Hezu, attacking the white basket. And now the referee called. It is I prefer for Hezu, but we couldn't see for what. Um, I didn't see. I didn't see. So you see at the basket, um, one of the Hezu guys stole the position of of the defender, and it ended in a goal. So he was mm -hmm. quite in the position, stealing stealing around the basket. Um, that's sometimes what you can do, <coughs> and free throw you can stall either the, the defender's uh, position or the goalie's position, and sometimes as a confident uh, team as Hezu um, knows how to be there fast and pass. So we need, uh, hopefully, Fierce is getting into the defense a little bit stronger over these days, depends on who they're playing next. Yep. And now we have, again, the counter-attack from Fierce. <laughs> I'm stretching myself for watching the game sitting here. Oh, it just can be also tiring. So we have uh, Hezu on the way back and let's see if Ita Italy can now 
managed to be like in between you you see that you tell like the Italians don't know what to yeah. do, where to position to stop Around the them. Basket, no yes, the yes, it's yeah. quite chaotic and normally this is um really uh yeah, that's a pity because then there's no coordination and uh, they have been getting goals because of this. So they need to see how they can coordinate better the defense. I mean, the defenders and the attackers when they are defending. Let's yes. see, they're on the surface and uh, we have one attacker on top of the Italian goalie. So far they've uh, been defending well. Now they're changing in the basket. Uh, the now we see the referee. <laughs> Okay. So no. really fast counter attack. Google defense. He really could leave the basket, but then they were missing. Now he's going in there, but there was some. Okay, what was it? Let's see the referee decision. Oh no, it's going on. So Pierce is now quite playing around the basket of the Finnish um, team, trying to get in there, trying to come in there in waves. Um, it's the first time they're playing out of the corner, trying yeah. to establish an attack, um, but actually... They just lost it. We are, yeah. And now we have again three, four, five, yeah. six. <laughs> All of the six Finnish players are underwater. It looks, I mean, yeah. and now if we you do it once, okay, twice, okay, okay but, but now so I think that's the tactic, yes. that's his tactic, uh, that's their tactic. And I yeah. think it's, it's amazing because normally you try to be always three down, three up, and they want to ask, okay, we all go down, but yes. if everyone is down, then it's, you have almost six against two, so that's yes, um, that a goal. Was, no, it was wow, a great save. Shot in the basket. And, a bit, yeah, and that proper. Perfect, double pass there, very good job, that she yeah, needs to be able to pass it. Into, into the finish player, um, the player who tries to help her, there was nobody underneath but behind, but behind uh, the back of the finish guys, nobody can help. Um, the goalie just arrived, one second, yeah, and it was alone against one finish guy. Yeah. I'm trying... Maybe uh, that's that's what Pierce has to do, like to attack really quick when six were underwater. So to because they don't have somebody waiting there to to interfere the counter attack now. Yeah, but the problem is because they have such a, a difference of people underwater, then it's difficult. <laughs> it's actually it's very interesting. Yeah. I, I keep watching how Hesu then will play against maybe stronger teams if they're there to bring everybody underwater. It's it's, one, it's a tactic that I haven't seen much. Could be the first really against yeah. other strong and mm. fast teams. Yeah. So maybe they just six underwater because they don't they know they don't have to establish. So we have a timeout of a uh, white team of Pierce. And it's seven zero for Hesu, yes. and we have now the second half uh, timeout for Firenze, and uh, they also have not not a full team. They brought those quattro six ocho ten players. Yes. And uh, that's also hard. I mean, a competition like this is so intense. They have so many. Um, I'm trying to see, is that Valentina? Or who is this? Uh, the woman, but I don't have her on the list, actually. Oh, hmm. I don't know the name. The number 80, I think. We don't have it. Because the list we are given are probably a month old and something maybe changed in the last minute. Yes. We did not. Um, so. so now we have. Uh, the Italians are trying to pass in the surface, pass down and try to pass it nice through. Pass. Wow, great, that good, good, good job. And then on the corner, but Finnish but guy is holding on. I don't know if it's because they have the t-shirt, but they feel that they're so much weaker that in a yes. way, and like the ball cannot pass they're them. much wider. Of yes, shoulders it's like a wall. So now we have four again. And it's two it's of the oh, Italian. That was, that was a good one. The goalie was just there in a second. They're going up in a scrum to the surface. Now there's no goalie on the Fiorentina basket there, he comes. It was quite um, a dangerous situation to, to have the scrum right um, above you. And uh, right now, they're, oh, and they're coming in again, trying to change the goalie. Um, but there's right the attacker, lifting and the goalie and goal. Another goal, yeah. I mean, do you know they have moments where they can... The f it's like the first hit, they can do something about it, but the second and the third already get them completely out of uh, 
of, of, of a plan or of, yes. you know, they're completely all over the place. You can tell that they don't know what to do. Yes. This whole case is really chaotic. And uh, yes. so, I mean, it's a very good job from the Finnish team. Now they're attacking again in the corner, um, pushing away now. Uh, Hezu has again the ball. And then they're trying to get forward. Um, Coming over the close side, but now the passing over really fast to the open side and trying to get down there. It's quite of a yeah, and the defender managed to get the ball, tries to swim out, and there comes the next. He passes to the surface and then passes down to a Hazu player, but we didn't see who passed. In such really fast pass. Oh, wait, great whoa, save, whoa, whoa. great job, I mean, recovering really and restarting, I mean, really fantastic, yeah. very good from Italy. Just Let's see if they can keep the ball yeah, back, but they have already the Finnish guide underneath the goalie, and uh, it looked that he could be Valentina, but I'm not sure, I'm going to check then. Or does somebody of the guys of the chat know who yeah. was playing? Yeah, is, is that Valentina? Is it Valentina? So let's see, uh, they are now keeping the ball in the surface, they are about uh, in the middle of the pool and uh, we can't see the ball is falling down, that's great job, they, they did, didn't yeah. do that earlier now, no, yeah. you know, they had one point in one, but the ball is coming onto the attacker one on one, but it took a little bit longer and now the next Italian, it needs to be more than just one and one and one because then they, they get outnumbered, they get outnumbered, yes. And now we have again the three finish. It's like they have a bottom, you know, and <laughs> 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 then torpedoes. Oh, that was a goal. And again, and they come like three, four torpedoes. Yes. At this. I don't know how they do it, you know, because it's like they look, so the counterattack is coming and yes. they have the discipline to do it. It doesn't look like they're tired, if they are and they don't have any air, they still go. So it's really good to see this discipline they have in attacking like that. So there are almost two, two minutes left on the second half of this game. Um, it's 9-0 against uh, um, Firenze and Hezo is in, in lead. 9-0 <coughs> for these un unbalanced teams, I, I say, is really good. Even so, we could see a little bit more defending and better establishing of the attacks from Firenze, but they're getting there. Maybe they just need some more time here and playing against um, equal teams. Ah, 10 0 in Italy, of course, and it's a very bad thing. <laughs> okay, I'm then sorry. I won't say it in the live screen. <laughs> but it's, it's still okay. 9 0. It's so. just 9 0, so come on. One, again, okay, 1 minute 25 seconds. Let's see if it Italy can stay in one digit number. And, the, and there, and they have the ball and trying to swim to the hazard side. Oh, I don't. What happened? I don't know. Maybe it looked like a free throw, but I, I it can't. It looks like a free throw for Firenze. All right. Yes, that's a free for a free throw for Firenze. Mm. Trying to. Um, Hazu is really nicely. Um, Keeping in there two meters because you have to be as a pawn team be two meters away from the ball when you do a free throw, and then they're really holding tight into the scrum right now in the middle of the pool, trying to break free, and then the ball drops. But it's I think it's another free throw for Firenze. Well, 25 seconds to go, and the game is over. So. Luca, keep your finger crossed. Um, let's see if um, they can stay in one digit number. Still, Would you know. 14 seconds left. That would they're be nice. fighting. I think we have one Italian embracing that ball and they will never let strong. it go. No. <laughs> Five seconds. I know I've done that in there. It, yes. Yeah. I mean, in those, those seconds that you want to save, and then you, yeah. you, you, pack, you do like a cocoon around, around the ball, ball <laughs> and it's my ball, and <laughs> I won't give yeah. it up for nothing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, um, Bobby is asking, okay. is this nine basically... 0 Luca. Yep. Yeah. So End of the, the, game. the game ended 9-0 um, for Hazu from Finland, and Ferenc lost there. But they did a good job, just uh, maintaining it in a one-digit number. 
and uh, uh, hold on. So. <laughs> So we're just switching commentators for the next game. Um, the next game will be a female game. Uh, Barcelona from Spain against Langen from Germany. Um, it's the first game for Barcelona and the second game for Langen. Um, in Barcelona there are establishing more and more teams. So I, I'm doing the Spanish ones. You can do the Germans. Oh, okay. And um, we just read the the names. So for Barcelona in position number three is playing Elia Santa Maria. And um, position six is Aida Pairo. Siete is um, Paula Moreno. Um, Eleven is Carolina Villalba. Um, Doce is Elisenda Andres. Fourteen is uh, Carla Galano. Um, um, Seventeen <laughs> is Karina Tessert. Then uh, 20 is Iris um, Balcazar, um, 21 is Mar Pozo, um, 23 is Silvia Miranda, um, um, 55 is Alicia Garcia, um, 77 is Ines de Gregorio, and 83, um, 83 is Giovanna Bautista. All right. So well I'm let's, here with let's introduce the, uh, the German team, the German yes. champion, uh, Uze Langen. We're going to start with number two, um, Mara Weismann. Number three, Simone Leppa. Number four, Anna Olt. Number six, Stefanie Nusser. Number seven, Kati Franke. Number eight, Heike Reichhuber. Number nine, Köppen Petra. Number 11, Janine Oswald. Number 12, Ria Spalek. 14, Julia Ettinger. 15, Kati Willow. 16, one year old, 18, Antin Rouge, 19, Marin Janko, and 27, Eike Rossmann. So welcome everybody to the next uh, game, Barcelona against uh, Langen, the first game for Barcelona, as I said, so in Langen uh, has their second game. It will be a quite interesting game because Barcelona has some new female players. Yeah, who? Um, Mar, for example, she's 14. Mm -hmm. Only so, so so I think she's the youngest player we have here. All right, okay. With so yeah. yeah, and she comes from underwater hockey, so she's quite used to play underwater sports. And um, let's see how it goes. On the other side, we have uh, the German champion. They uh, have not played here last year because uh, yes. it was Duisburg. They won the German championship, and last year uh, with this with the last season, it could be. So they came back to the, or gaining back the title, so now it is again Uze Langen, um, the team they've already won, I guess, uh, once the Champions Cup. Langen. Yeah, before I they had a different so. name, yeah, I think they also so. changed the name during the league, I, guess, uh, I don't remember what it was before, but... I don't know. Yeah. I started Women's League in Germany um, with Stuttgart and oh. we played always against Langen, so I don't know what was their name before. <laughs> So we're playing two times ten minutes. It's Uti Langen in blue and the Spanish team from Barcelona playing in white. Yes. We've been ready here. The time is running through, so there's no time stopping if there's a referee call, something like that. Uh, this is a big difference at this tournament to a yes. normal league round. And um, let's see, what's, who's your favorite in this match? The best one. May the best, <laughs> the best, may the best team <laughs> win. It's, it's a good answer right now. Um, Do you have a certain background with, with, with Barcelona? Yes. Then don't don't so. think don't think um, don't think uh, <laughs> I'm right only for the no, German no, no, team no, because so like it's I started I, I met no, Todd no. actually <laughs> when I was playing for the Barcelona team in Nizza. It was really funny. Yeah, so. um, I didn't know anything about German and water rugby um, <laughs> that time, but more about Spanish and it was really fun. Yeah. So we're yeah. there probably two more minutes to go because we're starting, I guess, 18 o'clock full. Yeah. So it's quite nice. Also with the schedule, it's not that rushy than it was yes. last year. So we have a bit more space between the time. It also gives us the chance to prepare Calm proper. Down. There comes the yeah. second uh, referee. The referees now So we have here in the chat um, quite a few people yeah, from good. Spain. Colombo, who lives actually at Mayotte, which is near Madagascar. And then we have Aristides and um, Nicolo who are players of, um, or filmers actually, of uh, Barcelona. Um, are there some 
I got the Why is Laura from Langen not playing? Do you have information yeah, about why Laura is playing? <laughs> Now we know the, the former name of Langen was uh, Mannheim and before it was Weinheim. That's the, oh, what? That's the, the, the missing information. It's quite good to have here the interaction with the, yeah. with the audience, so please feel free here to, but to provide. But do you know why Laura isn't playing? I know, but I don't share it. <laughs> no, she's, uh, she's here, but I think she gave the spot to, to, uh, to anyone else. Okay. So the, two, the, the nice, team is nice full with, with, uh, with 15 players here.